800-469-7591. Call today. KLC Denver. Hey, everybody, it's Eric and Angel with the Experience Pros Radio Show, which is coming up right after these isms and osophies. That's Eric isms and Angel osophies. Our tried and true rules that we live by. And today we're talking about the fact that where you go, your brand follows. Uh, what? Everywhere you go. Think about this. Whether you're online, in person, how you dress, how you show up, the posts that you share, the referrals that you give. No, 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 no. You, you don't understand. You see... Where I go depends on who's watching. I'm not, you see, if I, if I want to have a good time, I don't want that to affect my brand. So you're thinking that you've got a separation between your personal life and your professional life. Isn't that what most people think? That is what most people think, but they are, unfortunately, it's all together. And, and years ago, social media blurred that rigid line between our professional life and our personal life and it became all one and a lot of times i'll see somebody you know upset because something they posted on their personal page had an impact on their professional life and boy does it it really doesn't but that was on my personal page that was personal it wasn't supposed to be but it's who you are yeah show me who you are and i'll tell you about your brand and where you go, your brand follows, which is good news and bad news, right? If you are out leaving referrals, recommendations, even on, you know, like Amazon about your personal recommendations for books, where you are on LinkedIn, all of your social media posts, all of that, how you show up to parties, those pictures that end up getting posted. And don't get me started on the political cycle or the things that you believe. Just make sure that you are consistent because your brand is connected to all of it. And especially as a small business, an entrepreneur, um, a small company with you know kind of those micro companies, less right. than 10 employees, because it is very much connected to the people. People do business with people. They're not doing business necessarily with XYZ company. And so it is your personality, you, who you are online, on land, offline, all of it is all connected. So just be consistent because your brand is your promise. That's it. Where you go, your brand follows. There is your ism and osophy for the day. Hey, uh, some cool stuff happening on the calendar today. It is the third week of the month, which means it's time for Epic, oh. our our Epic networking event in both Loveland and Lone Tree. And Epic, it stands for the, it's an acronym for the four uh, groups that put it together, E-P-I-C. So it's Epic Networking in Loveland on Tuesday the 20th from 5.30 to 7.30. And then Epic Networking in Lone Tree uh, on the 21st from 5.30 to 8.30. And that's yeah, the Fox and the Hound in Lone Tree. You can find all of these events. And if you look at the calendar this week, it's pretty exciting. So much going on. Next week on Monday, Monday the 26th is boom. boom and we are dressing up in costume they're gonna have a <laughs> Halloween uh, costume contest so come in your Halloween garb to boom at the bar Louie um, from 6 to 8 p.m. on the 26th and then the old bag bash the fundraiser for the James Resource Network helping single families get back on their feet I love this event you do I really do come join us for all of these events because you know something we want to see you we want to meet you and we want to help you grow your business as well now get ready because here comes the experience pros radio show you've come to expect it nothing but the best this is the most positive business talk show in America just selecting good investments and fund managers may not prepare you for the retirement income you need there are five important less obvious decisions learn these five decisions and how to make them tune in to America's wealth Sponsored locally by Life Certain Wealth Strategies here on KLZ 560 every Saturday morning from 9 to 10. The Experience Pros with Angel and Eric next on KLZ 560. <laughs> You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, best-selling authors of lists that saved my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you: the small business is big business. And your business is our business. What do you do when love's gone bad? Um, I'm pretty sure the honeymoon was already paid for, so you go on the vacation anyway. That's pretty much the size of the whole thing here. Uh, we found an article on the interweb that says, you know, uh, a canceled wedding 
which was so sad, right. turned into a feast for the homeless in Sacramento. Canceled wedding led to a bride's family using the banquet they, they already paid for to feed the city's homeless. You know, that's impressive because yeah. that you could think, what do we do with all this and how do we? Um, because I'm, I'm not sure how, how soon in advance the, right. the wedding had been canceled. But it's usually so emotional that nobody's thinking rationally. Nobody's sure. thinking, okay, how do we do something with this? Um, but if it had been maybe enough in advance that nobody, because I'm thinking, well, it wasn't the day of the wedding because you have people to feed, right? Or do you um, send them all home? I, I don't know. Do you send them all home? And the fiance got cold feet. Um, a week. A week. A week before, before the wedding. Yeah. See, Eric didn't actually read the article. I you know, he's the article. he's great journalist. Is good at reading headlines. I am a good article mm -hmm. reader. Okay, so it was a week before right. the wedding, and of course, you couldn't get the refund. Right. So they decided to still hold a, the banquet and invite invite the homeless shelter. That's pretty cool. I'm asking you. Uh, yes. Yeah. That's that's exactly what happened. Oh. Uh, they, they Do you know for sure? 120 guests. Yes, I know. You do I know? read the article. Hmm. Just thought I'd share that with you. Um, you do when love goes bad. Well, feed people. I'll tell you what. I um, I I kind of got something out of a love gone bad situation. Are you kidding? Is everything all right with you? Everything's gone fine with me. Oh. I have to make an addendum to a previous rule that I had created. You you have to change your rule. I do. Oh. Yeah. So I used to have a rule yeah. that said. If you're gonna give me a present, that it should be gift wrapped. Right. Presents should be wrapped, mm -hmm. right? Yep. It shouldn't just be I came from the store and it's still in the store shopping bag, but you know, it, it should be gift wrapped. Yeah, that's no present at all. Right? Unless Oh. Unless the store is Tiffany's. Uh Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Mm -hmm. If it comes in an L V uh little uh, bag. Yeah, it wasn't even in a Louis Vuitton bag. Oh, it wasn't? No. What'd you get? What do you have? I got a Louis Vuitton bag. You got a Louis Vuitton bag. Yeah, but it came from Love Gone Bad. Oh. Yeah, a friend of my husband's yeah. got it in the divorce. Oh, and gave it to you. Gave it to him who gave it to me, okay. and it didn't come in a bag. It didn't come wrapped. So was it it a just gift came. from Jay? Well, it was a gift from Jay. Okay. Yeah. That's oh, hard. now his eyes are like It's hard twitching. to keep up. Are you sure? It's hard to keep up with all those, those rules around presents. Well, now, yeah, so now there's a new rule. So you got a, uh, a so Louis here, Vuitton bag. Yeah. Well, I wonder how that measures up to the uh, Milan, Italy baguette. The baguette? That, oh, no, this is no. not a baguette. No. Now, now, I've I've well, seen those. It is obviously a small bag. No, no, no. It's it's a long bag. It's a long bag? It's a long bag. Oh. Yeah. Well, Guinness says this 400-foot baguette is the world's longest in Milan, Italy. 400 foot. At the Milan World Expo. I'm guessing it's uh, made out of bread. Fair. Of course, it's, it's baguette. It's not a... What's yours made out of? Leather. Leather. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, it took uh, 60 French and Italian bakers laboring over the bread for a very long time to make this 364. Oh, the previous record was 364 feet. This one is 400. 400 feet, feet of bread. Right. How do you bake that? How do you bake a 400 foot long baguette? I don't know, but Nutella is getting in on it, and they're like, they're gonna, uh, oh, stay tuned. okay, okay. <laughs> Nutella on right? the baguette that would be yummy. That would be. Yummy. Yeah, new bread store opened up in our neighborhood, and we got a we got a little sampling sent over to our house, like three loaves of bread. That's really what. We are not eating a lot of, well, we weren't, past tense, Yeah. eating a lot of bread in our house. And now? Constantly eating Constantly the bread. Constantly eating bread. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. a new bakery in town? Mm -hmm. I need to find out. Yeah. Are all you right. a big bread person? I am. They do They do all you can eat French toast. Doesn't that just sound yummy? Come on. Yeah. You are not. You don't know about this? I don't. You don't know about this? Well, it's because it wasn't a taco, right? It That's like, true. If it were a taco, I would I'd be a little more. Right? You would be. All you could eat French tacos. <laughs> yep. Look at him listening. He's like smacking <laughs> his lips. Like, who does that? Yeah, I do. Who does that? All right. All right. So yeah, good news um, for the baguettes and yes. the bread eaters and and, your bag. Oh, and my bag. yeah, and I had to change my rule. Um, 
yeah, it was late at night and he comes in and he's like, I brought you something. He had this really weird look on his face. He's like, but I didn't gift wrap it. I didn't, I didn't do anything with it. I just didn't. It was like behind his back. And he's why like, he, why didn't he just go, go get the gift wrap? Uh, it doesn't matter. I have yeah, no answer to that. Yeah. Louis Vuitton. Yeah, I did not ask questions like that after, after that. So, right. if, um, yeah. So, um, this hour of the Experience Pros Radio Show brought to you by our friends over at I Amazing Creations. Love them. They are down in Pearl Street, and they are hosting a men's night out on October 22nd from 4 until 7 p.m. Gentlemen, come and try a mini spa service and enjoy pizza, beer, and soft drinks for just $30. You can register by calling 720-479-8334. 720-479-8334 for Men's Night Out. I amazing creations. They're simply amazing. I love it. All right, so I found some tips for business travelers. Do you do a lot of, do you like to travel uh, for business or do you mostly do, you do travel for, for I, I do, personal? you know, we, we do travel a little bit for business, you and I. Uh, and before that, I used to travel quite a bit for business. And so these tips will always come in handy. Well, it was interesting. I read this, um, you know, on the American Express forum, and I thought, I thought it was going to have things like bring your own charger, um, you know, best times a day to fly. Those are both good tips. But it didn't. Oh. It didn't. Now, the first tip it suggested was stick with one airline because you'll create those loyalty points and you'll get more familiar with the airline. We've and mentioned that before. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, in many ways, there is some good solid uh, tippage there. Mm -hmm. Stick with your airline because you do build up the, the FaceTime with the, the staff. Right, especially if you're going on on the same route all the time, uh, and you do build up those miles. Well, and you're familiar, like you know where the gates are, you right. know uh, where the check-in is, you know where the little kiosks are, and so it, you just and all that familiarity saves time. And you know, even as we've traveled back and forth down to Phoenix, you know, a little bit more repeatedly, right. um, I'm you know we're learning the airport, and the more you learn, the more you can shave off in in travel time. So Absolutely. stick with one airline. Second tip they recommended was do that TSA pre-check. I so agree with that. Now, I've not done it, but I think I watch the people who just walk through. And they've just done a little pre-check thing, and I think there's a little fee at the at the, at the front side. Am I right? There is, there is, and there's, uh, and it's reasonable. I have a friend who just became an A-lister on on a certain airline. Correct. And she says she just walked right through. How it was nice just so dynamite. And so again, saving time. And as you're traveling for business and even for for personal. Right, you want more time on the ground at the event, at the meeting, the thing you're going for, not spent traveling. That's the answer I was looking for. I actually like being places, and not so much the travel. Me too. Right. Me too. I, and I think that's why cruising became so popular for sure. people because you you get to destinations overnight and you don't have to worry about traveling. Right. Uh, they say also pay attention to flight delays and airports that tend to have. Um, d more flight delays because as you travel a lot, you'll start to recognize certain airports and certain you times of day. That, you just avoid those particular routes and and pick a different airport and right. you know become savvy. Just know that you don't have you're not stuck with that one route. Okay. Um, now with airlines charging baggage fees, they recommend shipping what you can. You know, I would think that this is a huge boom for the uh, the industry that you know like ups or fedex or the the shipping industries um i because i agree with that it gets so expensive to carry even to carry on stuff right you know and so if you are bringing supplies for an event or a vendor event you can have it all shipped directly to the event so you're not like hauling it to and from in and out of a taxi and all of that and so ship it directly to to where you're having your meeting, which I love that. They say select your seat late. Select your seat late. Right. So then you can avoid having to sit near, you know, you can find maybe some gaps where there might be an empty seat. Oh, I see. So the airlines these days are overbooking. Yeah. I think yeah, the, the days of having an empty seat next to you are long gone unless you're doing like the red eye or something. But then know the red eye, it's filled with children who are not happy to be flying the red eye. Just FYI. Right. I found that out. I won't be doing that again. No. And I think as a tip that's not on here, and you won't need this, but always pack a pashmina. 
A what? A pashmina in your carry-on bag. Is that a woman's name? It's a, it's a, it's like a scarf. Pashmina. Kind of dresses up your outfit. Where if you are need you, to. pashmina? It's a blanket for the it cold like airline. Sounds like a Polish name. And then on the off chance you get the the convertible at the rental car place, it holds. Works as a scarf. All right. All right, folks, we've got to take a quick break. But when we come back, more positive business talk. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. You keep wondering about refinancing options. You know rates are low, but don't know how to go about getting the best rate and best type of loan for your situation. What do you even need to get started? Wonder no more. Go to CherylAnswers.com. Cheryl of ALMC Mortgage has put together a checklist of what you need to know and frequently asked questions when it comes to your mortgage. Get answers. Go to CherylAnswers.com. CherylAnswers.com. LMB number 1000-20432. NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at Dora.state.ca. Co.us. Design, implement, and support. If you have a computer, a cell phone, or a tablet, you have a network. Hi, this is Eric, and I've got great news for you. Your network has a guy. For the last 15 years, Brad Binkley of Binkley IT has served his clients without killing their budget. Brad can effectively manage a network of up to 50 computers, typically for about two to four hours a week. Huge savings, no sacrifice. Call Brad today for your next IT partner, 720-254-1057. That's 720-254-1057. Binkley IT, solving the IT puzzle one piece at a time. Hi, this is Angel, and if you haven't checked out all the resources that Experience Pros offers small business owners all across America, I'd like to invite you to visit experiencepros.com. From annual contests to the extreme customer service directory, daily blogs and fan bragging to business tips, Experience Pros supports business owners just like you in so many ways. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Experience Pros. And thank you for allowing us to serve you every day right here on this station. Imagine having a business partner watch over your computer systems day and night, actively responding to changing needs in your environment, helping make sure things run fast and smooth, protecting your valuable information. With availability, our managed services platform, C Squared Computer Consulting can provide 24 by 7 monitoring, manage updates, and optimize your systems. Let C Squared be your business partner. Call us at 303 933 1113. Mention Experience Pros, and we'll waive the setup fee. Over 400,000 businesses in Colorado have less than 10 employees. Your business probably fits into that category. Imagine what would be accomplished if everyone joined forces. The Colorado Micro Business Alliance brings owners together to give you a unified voice in state and local politics, as well as helps negotiate better deals for products and services. They offer top level seminars and networking events. Join now for only $5 a month at Colorado Micro Business Alliance com friends there are very few things more important to your business than the way it's viewed and used on the internet your website is the gateway to your entire sales process and here at experience pros we trust Donna Galassi and blue zenith web design to make our website more than just a brochure for our business if you want your website to be an experience contact Donna today at 720-248-8431 that's 720-248-8431 or visit them online to see their work Use bluezenith.com. We do. Get your payroll and employee paperwork done efficiently, effectively, and economically with Employer Essentials. Free up your time, free up your money, and let Employer Essentials help your business grow. They handle all of your payroll and HR needs at EmployerEssentials.com or call 303-734-9436. 303-734-9436. Advertising is really effective, especially for small business. Turn your company into a household name by advertising on the Experience Pros radio show. We'll help you build a trusted reputation with the professionals who listen to the program. You'll connect with the right audience and at the right price. Advertise with the Experience Pros radio show. Sign up at experiencepros.com and put your brand on the tip of your customer's tongue. Sign up today and start advertising with the Experience Pros at experiencepros.com. <laughs> The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Oh, put me in, oh, I'm ready to play. 
Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. That's what you feel like on the first day of work, right? Put me in, Coach. I'm ready to play today. All right, we've got some tips on how to have the perfect first day for that new hire who shows up so excited, so full of enthusiasm, and uh, just ready to start. And how often, and you hear these little stories of, you, know, you started on your first day and you show up and nobody was expecting you. Right. Like they're shocked that you're there. Well, my son's going to go through that tomorrow. He got hired and uh, tomorrow is his first day at his new job. I think I think they'll be expecting him. He's not we'll going to go. He's not going to go through this. We'll see. Um, you know, it, where you know somebody's like, you know, here, just sit in here, just sit in this card table in this corner, or here, just hang out in the conference room today. We'll we'll, we'll get be a, with you later. Right. And and it's you know just very very frustrating for that new hire is so excited they're ready to play they've been right. looking for it to it so number one be prepared for the arrival the hr may offer an orientation session but that doesn't let you off the hook be on top of exactly what will happen on your new hire's first day they say you should have a workspace like a sign like where are they going to work not the conference room oh like, you're like looking at me like a blank stare. Like, does no, this no. not make sense to you? No, it makes perfect sense. I'm just trying to think uh, over the the times I have started new jobs, and uh, I don't think I had a new. I didn't. I didn't have a workspace. No, so they weren't expecting you. It I wasn't mean, not, like they were like, ready for you. It was. It, I think that's probably why the article was written. Yeah, again. have supplies, any IT functionality ready for them. But it's almost like you're waiting for them to see. Well, will they show up? Right now, we'll. We'll go ahead and, and get a you know a desk space figured out for you, and we'll order some supplies. But of course, that's going to be a week or two, you know, to delay that whole process. Yeah. Um, they say do an expectation book camp. Uh, an expectation boot camp. An expectation. Come up and give me twenty. Book camp. They say um, that most of the people coming on don't understand your culture, right? And so the aspects of how to dress, when to arrive at the office, how to greet the CEO or CEO or owner, all that common sense stuff. Yep. You know, where's the best place to go to lunch? Where should you be parking? Which elevator is the sticky one? Well, and there goes in the uh, the, the next one, and that's assign a buddy. Do the buddy system. Yeah. Right? Get a get a, a seasoned veteran with the the the, the newbie. And watch the fun happen. Well, and they say that it, ideally, and this would be perfect, right? A satisfied employee who's been with you yep. in a similar life stage as this person, um, and ideally to a year or two ahead of the hire, the new hire. So task the seasoned employee with helping the new hire get acclimated, answering questions, and incorporating them into the office's social scene. That's when you sit there and say, you see that girl over there? That's Mavis. Well, this is this is why you want that somebody's happy and satisfied to be the mentor, to and be we the buddy. Love Mavis because she makes great tacos. Something like that. Have, have you ever have they ever assigned the new hire to you, Eric, at a at a place? Oh well, um, it's not. <laughs> just here to show you where the, the good, where the where the good tacos well, are. I'm to plug you into the social scene. Right? I got gotcha. you. You got it. All right. They say set up in person touch points. Now be careful. No, see, this these is not, why these are not HR. This is why we didn't put Eric as points. as the buddy. They say set up one on one thirty minute meetings for new hires to chat with the stars this is who okay make touch. things happen in your workplace. This is not an okay touch. Woo Excuse me. You know what? If you start a sentence with what did what did you say the other day? Do not call. Do not call sexual harassment on me. As he like, goes on, you. Oh yeah. We were talking about it, like, costumes for the Halloween thing, and and I I was I I didn't want one of he my didn't staff. want to ask one of his staff to go as the I sexy kitten, I but no, 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 but no, no, he no, wanted no, her to no. be the sexy you kitten. Cannot put that but he out couldn't there. Didn't ask her to be no, the sexy you, kitten. No, my so God. he's like, so that because that is so not true, and I am so going to be sued. Thank you very much. By who? By anybody listening. Is I did not say you? that. That is not what happened. Thank I'm sorry. You. I'm sorry. What, then, what I'm else sorry. should correct we do me. for what the did, new what, hire's first day? No, no, no. Correct me. What I, did you say? No, I will not correct you because I do not want to have this conversation in, uh, in, in, in public. And I am embarrassed now. Thank you. Create a work plan. Yes. They say no matter the job or the role, all employees want to feel empowered to make a difference. So by the time your new hire arrives, you should have a solid idea of what 
what you expect them to accomplish in the first weeks and months of employee. And there's some really neat tools. If you were to Google like the first 90 days of employment to give you, okay, in the first 30 days, we should be doing this when it comes to our products, to our culture, um, and to like, it breaks it down into like three different categories, how they should be up to speed with our technology, how they're going to be trained, um, the goals that they're going to set. And there's some great tools online that you can research for this. Um, because again, yes, you had a great interview, right? Sure. We talked about really kind of the ins and out ish of what the job is going to cover. But really on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, monthly and quarterly, what are those expectations? And it, you can't leave them just wandering, staring at the walls, going, okay, somebody tell me what to do. Because in the beginning, they need somebody to tell them what to do. They don't have, they're not been there long enough to make, um, kind of make it up on their own. So, right. so they say that ensure that your goals involve plenty of challenging tasks as well as learning opportunities. Go through the plan on their first day and solicit their feedback on the assignments they find the most intriguing. Now, there's a new hire. So, be, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, this all sounds fascinating. Uh, hold on for a minute. Let's talk about those new hires and what they should do on day one in order to impress your, uh, your, your new employers. You ready? Touch this. Don't touch that. No, no, no. They've already figured all that out. Uh, get an early win, right? Identify something that you can go do that will say, you know what? I got a victory today. Be a go-getter. Nice. Bring one big idea. Oh, a big idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about uh, getting your boss a coffee or ordering him lunch or whatever. Instead, propose an audacious new idea to improve the business every week. Oh, they say compliance isn't scarce. Leadership and initiative are. Right. Get to know those people. You know, the the don't don't just buddy up. But want, you want to know who your buddy's buddies are. Get to know the people and take a step out in, in that regard. And put in a couple extra hours. Go ahead. It'll send you home. You say, you know what? It was. Would it be all right if I just kind of stay around and observe a little bit? Dang. Well, you're off the clock. That's okay. I just want to learn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, there's nobody there after that. Well, yeah, yeah, there are. Okay. So my son got a job at Target. Okay. So uh, when they send him home, he's going to be fine hanging around, unless it's at night. But I don't think it's going to be. Joke. <laughs> Makes people laugh. Is that a joke? No, no that's that was the point. That was, oh. Yeah. Mm. Just, just fit in, right? Express that curiosity. Why does this work? How does this work? Why, why do you do why it this do way? Why do we do it this way? How long have we been doing this? How did this get started? Try your best to understand the vision of it. It's, uh, it's an important thing. And finally, be a sponge. A sponge? Yeah, absolutely. Absorb all the new information and don't let it go. So I always like to write, walk around like with a notepad at a new place and take little notes and yep. jot down people's names and keep track of things. And, um, you know, I had like a little notepad that helped me and I could go back and review it. Don't don't interrupt this person's coffee. Right. You know, make sure that you greet this person by name. Those little tips will get you a long way. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Yeah. You've got to jump in and get in because sometimes, you know, and in many cases, they're kind of surprised you showed up. It's true. Hey, when we come back, we're going to meet two of our favorite people in all the world. They are the founders of Squeal Rum. Yes, you will find out more about that on the other side of these commercials. You're listening to Angel Narek on the most positive business talk show in America. The experienced pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Early bird discounts are going on right now when you sign up for the 2016 Vision is Victory, the event with Kerry Conley happening in Phoenix, Arizona. Take a few days in January to put together a strategy to transform your business and your life. You'll leave with a step-by-step -step plan to create massive success for the entire year. Vision is Victory, the event with Kerry Conley is January 14 through 16, and right now the price is only $200. Register online at infinitenation.com for your exceptional vision building retreat in Arizona. Stop calling around looking for the best mortgage rates and call ALMC Mortgage. ALMC Mortgage matches you with the right mortgage for your needs every single time. Now's the right time to finance. Call ALMC Mortgage today at 303-696-6933. 303-696-6933. Check out today's current rates and questions you should ask about your mortgage at almcmortgage.com. almcmortgage.com. 
LMB number 1000-20432, NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at dora.state.co.us. If you rely on networking to build your business, you need Renovate. If you are sick of wasting your time cold calling to find a few, you need Renovate. Extreme Relationship Management will help you renovate. Renovate is revolutionary training that elevates your not working and supercharges your networking to get real results. Sign up for the next Renovate training this week at extremerelationshipmanagement.com or call 855-I-LIKE-ERM. You need Renovate. Hi, this is Angel and I've been in my home for 12 years now. When I think about redecorating, I just can't seem to get past what I've always done. Helene's Designs offers a fluff it up service for home decorating. She takes what I already have and rearranges just enough to fluff it up. Call Helene to get fluffed up at 720-233-7302. Helene's Designs is a full service design firm that helps you turn your dreams into a reality. Call Helene's Designs today at 720-233-7302 or check out the before and after pictures online at helenesdesigns.com. Home Care Assistance of Denver is changing the way the world ages by offering a fun and free series of talks designed to keep your mind sharper longer. Partnering with the Alzheimer's Association Colorado, the MindFit series will be held every Tuesday through October 20th from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. at 455 Sherman Street in Denver. Each week's session presents different activities that will stimulate and engage mental fitness. For more information, visit homecareassistancedenver.com or call 720-443-3371. SharpNet Solutions has been optimizing websites for over 16 years, since before Google was even a company. Hi, this is Eric, and I want you to let that sink in for a moment. SharpNet Solutions has been helping hundreds of small businesses get found on the search engines since before Google became Google. They're one of the most affordable SEO firms in the country, and if you tell them Experience Pro sent you, you'll get up to 50% off of your SEO services. Still wonder if they can help you? Google Experience Pros. We use them. 303 900 4988. That's 303 900 4988 or sharpnetsolutions.com. Do you wish your career was moving along a different path? Do you ever feel like your business owns you when it really should be the other way around? Do you feel like this isn't the life you thought you'd be living? Well, you're not alone. Sandy Corrigan has a system that helps people create careers worth having businesses worth owning that results in lives worth living. Call or text Sandy Corrigan today at 303-907-1010. That's 303-907-1010. It's worth the phone call. You need more customers and you need to keep the ones you already have. List that Save My Business is your answer to gaining and retaining clients without cold calling or chasing cold leads. Do business with people who like you and who already trust you. List that Save My Business is the book with easy to use checklists to bring more of the right customers into your sales process. Buy your copy of List that Save My Business from Amazon.com. These lists will save your business. Buy your copy of List that Save My Business today and grow your business the experience pros way. Hi, this is Scott Watley. Join me weekdays from noon to one for Haystack Help Radio. We'll help with consumer problems, give you quality business referrals, let you know about the latest scams, and we'll also give great help for seniors. Weekdays, noon to one for Haystack Help Radio. Check out our website, haystackhelpradio.com. Art Bell, tonight at 10 on KLZ 560. <laughs> The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on twitter.com slash experience pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. Oh, 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 baby. I'm so excited to introduce these next guests. You're going to introduce them, but... Squeal Spice Black Rum. Yum, 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 rum. Uh, Squealrum.com. Go ahead. That, is that all we need to know? He's oh like, that's gosh. all you need to know. I yeah. thought he was like going to go into in, into the details. Well, we do have the owners of Squeal Spice Black Rum here in the studio, JP and Monica Kraus, an adorable couple yes. who are going to teach us about how to grow a business while both working full time. Have you ever thought, and working full time, how in the world do I get my business off the ground? 
we're going to learn some tips. It's a fabulous couple. They say that that while having both full-time jobs, this not, has not only brought them closer together as a family, right? Uh-huh. But who would have ever thought that? Because right. it can be very frustrating. Well, they're going to be very real with us today. And when we're all done, we're going to send you all out to find Squeal Black Spiced Rum. JP, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you for having us. Absolutely. Monica, welcome. Thank you. Very nice to have both of you here. All right. So, uh... How do you, JP, keep a line between full time? You are a chef, yes. Yes, I am a chef full time, and uh, and yet you are the inventor, the concoctor, the maker, the producer of squeal spiced black rum. How how, how do you keep those two apart? So part of it is uh, finding the strengths that we each have and using that to our ability. So what we can do after our normal business hours without making it seem like we're not available to our clients. And, um, you know, really being open with communication with my wife and you tackle this project, I'll do this, and really mapping it out a week ahead of time where we're going to be, what we're going to do, which days we're going to take off so that we can make both work and, you know, really keep them separate because we, we have to make sure that, we keep our business. So when we are doing our business, we put 100% into it. And that means that we need to have a little extra planning. You know, Monica, did you know what your strengths were individually before you started? Or did it kind of show up after you guys got started? It's um, so we both knew what we're good at. Uh, like my husband is just amazing, amazing with all the social media. He's very organized. And uh, I'm patient on the other side, which is very important when you have your business, when you're working with the husband. But we also learn a lot about each other, about our family, what we need, what we, um, to build our business, uh, to build as a family as well, doing all this. I love it. I'll tell you what, I, you know, it's hard when you're working full time. You, sure. you know, where do you fit the time to actually grow, to grow in a business where there's some personal activities you guys had to give up? Oh, of course. Um, we kind of made the decision amongst ourselves that we would give up the the time between us and then really our time together we set, we share as a family. So we go out, we take the kids, we spend a lot more time with the kids than we did before because we're putting that extra effort into it and we have it more scheduled. And then we have the ability to have a, a night to ourselves. It feels that much more special. Absolutely. And if you think about that, uh, and, by, and by the way, uh, just, just kudos to you guys. Uh, you have such a, a beautiful relationship. And you know that separating yourselves for, you know, giving up that time, that the intimacy and time between yourselves for now is just for a season, right? Eventually, the goal, I would guess, is to grow to a place where uh, other people run your business and you have more time for each other, yeah? Of yeah, course, of course. That is the goal. All right. Yeah, and you know, so we are trying to do also, we are trying to have, uh, let's say, one day a month that we'll take together off from our regular Dignite. jobs. Yes, sure. not even. We have like sometimes days together that we, like today, we can do some business, but also we can have lunch together. Sometimes we'll go hiking together. Nice. So we will spend those few hours, you know, a lot of times talking about business, but hiking, but, you know, going to some places that we want to go to some uh, stores or, you know, just whatever we want to do. But also the other part of the day we'll spend uh, doing business. So we are still together, but, you know, doing both things. Love it. Did you actually think that starting a business and both working full time would actually strengthen your relationship, Monica? You don't think about it. <laughs> you you know, you're just like, you're not going to have time for anything. It's just a disaster. But what I said yesterday to my husband, I said, you know, there's nothing more uh, uh, gluing our relationship than another loan. <laughs> right. Okay. So uh, let's talk about the business. And uh, JP, how do you decide which parts of the business you outsource instead of doing yourself and, and and when do you include those people okay. along the line yeah so make a, a shameless plug here and sure. we, we were stern storming this morning so daryl stern thank you very much right uh, getting ready for the holiday season so now that we're on uh, shelves and stores we have to make a plan on how we're going to get the word out right for the people so we love saying that now that we're on shelves and oh, stores I, I love saying that. Right? congratulations you can just say that all day long now that we're on shelves and stores because this started i mean how old is is squeal squeal uh we started bottling really in january so, this, so this, year. this year this year yeah wow so now it's, that they're in stores it's been a really a rocket ship ride for you guys uh, 
it, it's been exciting and you know finding which things to outsource um so the website for example or finding that help on social media because you know while you're working full time you you can schedule posts but right. you don't have that ability to exactly be there live all the time. Right. So having an extra hand or an extra person who does accounting, maybe I'm not the best at accounting, really taking it off my plate allows me to be more creative with the time I have and sure. allows Monica really to to sell better because we don't have to be there doing the day-to-day operations if we don't have to. What, what was like the first thing you guys hired or outsourced for somebody else to do? Do you remember? Uh, the, the website. The website. Yeah, because uh, we want to make sure that the website was... Uh, legit, right? We want people to see the website and say, wow, this is a really good company. You yeah. know, they are very professional. We don't want just the average go, go do it yourself. Wow. All right. And so what is like the next thing you're hoping is going to get off your plate that you're going to be able to hire somebody else to do? Oh, we loved uh, Daryl today. So <laughs> obviously this is something that, you know, we're just amazed how, you know, he works. Hopefully in the future when we'll get bigger, we we'll can uh, use his help and his team uh, to help us with the social media. Yeah, he, d- he does some good uh, inbound marketing uh, oh, yeah. training and social media type stuff. It's, it's He does a fantastic and- job. The, the next thing I think really, uh, we got hooked up with a, with a broker mm. um, because, you know, two people in the, the Denver metro area is, is a lot of space. Yeah. Plus, you know, looking at going into other states within the new year, uh, we definitely need to have more footprint and talk to more stores and, and liquor stores. So, you know, really finding the right sales. I guess we're going to use brokers for now, but that's the next big thing for us uh, for outsourcing. All right. Mm. So... Um, you say that you actually turn some so-called weaknesses, which is not being available to your clients around the clock, actually turned it around and made it work in a positive way. What does that mean, JP? Yeah, so you know, usually when you call somebody and say, oh, I'm available Monday through Friday, nine to five, and that's it. Right. Um, we've had great success meeting people after five o'clock. And it's, um, you take the business side out of it and you really get to meet people on a, on a personal level. Sure. Um, meeting for coffee or talking about you know, business and just you really get to know the person for who they are versus the business because they're off the clock. They turn that I'm working mode off and they right. really open up to you and allows you to connect. Deeper relationships, I'm yeah. sure, uh, provide deeper business relationships as well. Of course. And don't you find that sometimes more business actually happens at the bar or the coffee shop than that actually would happen in a boardroom or a conference room? Yeah, you know, I feel like people when they're after work and they see you with the fun situations, they feel like, you know what, I want to do business with this person. Right. They're fun. Yeah. They're, you know, it's it's not like, you know, in the, I, I don't mind people in ties and everything, but, you know, it feels like they just want to have something more. They have, you know, especially with the product like we are having, it's something, you know, something more than just, a, you know, uh, eight to five. Well, you try this uh, squeal spice black rum and you'll realize that uh, you can loosen that tie in, in, in a hurry. And it's fantastic. I love this. You, Monica, are in the sales side of the business, is it correct? Uh, you talk to people and, and, and sell your product. Yes. You could sell me anything with that accent. <laughs> I, I think, uh, wait, from uh, New Jersey? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure exactly. Oh, oh, I got the look. Oh, she oh my did. gosh. You have a beautiful Polish accent. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I got the look. Yeah, she did. He's like, he's, he thinks he's being funny. All right, so now let's talk about the rum. Let's, you know, let's tell people about it so they're going to go out and get some on their own. Of course. Yeah, so, you know. We're in the stores. <laughs> <laughs> now, that, now that we're in stores, on shelves in stores. Yep. So we, we've been, you know, at a couple bars um, just trying to help spread the word and get people to taste it. Uh, local liquor store, Argonaut Liquors, down on Colfax, right, in Denver. I actually placed an order last week, so it'll be on shelves this week in Argonaut. And the best part about it is if you can't get there, they also deliver. Ooh. Ooh, they deliver. And award-winning, uh, yes? Award-winning. Uh, we won Spice Room of the Year 2015, Bar Business Magazine. And then we have a couple bronze medals, a silver medal this year. So we're real excited just to you know, get any recognition. You, know, you guys are fantastic. I love the uh, the rum. Check it out at squealrum.com. That's squealrum.com. As they say on the website, go pig. Or go home. I know, great branding. Uh, it, it has been excellent. So excited for you. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Absolutely. Very nice to have you in there. By the way, if you're interested, uh, makes great for recipes as well. Uh, great food and whatnot. Squealrum.com. Squealrum.com. Order all of them except for one because that'll be mine. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. Hi, this is Angel, and I want you to picture this. 
you're driving home after soccer practice. Your little girl is sitting in the back seat and the radio is gently playing your favorite music. Your car is your world for the moment and your world is safe because Nylon's Collision Center wouldn't cut corners on the quality of parts when they fixed that fender bender last month. N-Y-L-U-N-D-S collision.com. No one knows your car better. The safety of your whole world is in their hands. Visit nylandscollision.com or call them at 303-761-9219. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303-781-2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. You've had it with the big box print shops and online printing companies. Sure, they offer cheap services and that's what you get, cheap service. Isn't it about time you found someone who not only made you look good, but also makes you feel good? Award-winning printingdonequickly.com offers the highest level of concierge service without the concierge price. Printingdonequickly.com, where we serve your business as we wish to be served and quickly too. That's printingdonequickly.com. Dude, your wife's hot. I know, right? I'm not kidding. She's really hot. Yeah, I married up. I'm trying to tell you, your wife's hot. Will someone please call Bowman Heating and Air? It's 90 degrees in here. Don't let anyone else tell you how hot your wife is. Call Bowman Heating and Air today. 303-622-6502. Bowman Heating and Air. Keeping couples together and relationships cool. Ask about the preventative maintenance option with a 100% mechanical guarantee. Bowman HVAC.com. Landlords, listen up. If you have investment property, you need Legacy Properties PM. Devin Bewley will absolutely get you the highest rent possible, handle every imaginable emergency, and make sure that your property is well cared for. He visits every property regularly and knows that he's working for you. Legacy Properties PM, where their promise to you is simple. If your property isn't earning you money, you owe them nothing. There's nothing to lose. 720-989-1996. Mention Experience Pros and they'll waive the first month's management fee. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros radio show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapahoe Road. Attention business owners, if you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance has local offices serving clients across the U.S. and Canada. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Riviera Finance now. 800-872-7484. That's 800-872-7484. Or visit rivierafinance.com. You need more customers and you need to keep the ones you already have. List that Save My Business is your answer to gaining and retaining clients without cold calling or chasing cold leads. Do business with people who like you and who already trust you. List that Save My Business is the book with easy to use checklists to bring more of the right customers into your sales process. Buy your copy of List that Save My Business from Amazon.com. These lists will save your business. Buy your copy of List that Save My Business today and grow your business the experience pro way. I started going cold turkey. Well, at least when I'm in the car. I know I shouldn't do it, but it's so hard to stop. That's why I hide it from myself, so I won't be tempted. I used to do it all the time. I stopped by locking it in my glove compartment. My friend used to do it way too much. Now I turn it off when we're in the car. My solution is simple. I just don't do it. There are lots of ways to stop yourself and others from texting and driving. How will you stop? Tell us at StopTextStopRex.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Dana Lash, tonight at 6 on KLZ 560.
The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. Have you joined the revolution? Visit meetup.com slash the revolution and become a business revolutionary. And now back to Eric and Angel on the experienced pros radio show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to join us for hours. This hour is brought to you by our friends over at I Amazing Creations, hosting a men's night out on October 22nd from 4 until 7 p.m. Gentlemen, come and try a mini spa service. Also enjoy pizza, beer, and soft drinks, all with other gentlemen trying it out for only $30. Phone number 720-479-8334. Again, 720-479-8334. Check them out at iAmazingCreations.com. They're simply amazing. Hmm. All right. So have you ever been, I don't know, at the last minute, you know, maybe uh, somebody didn't show up that was uh, supposed to be speaking or sharing a topic or maybe even at a conference meeting um, you know they just changed the schedule around a little bit and with very little notice you're up uh oh they come out and say hey uh, can, can you uh, can, can you deliver a few remarks can you uh, can you make a presentation that kind of thing right yeah <laughs> yeah that happens you'd be surprised to hear that even as professional speakers those who are professional public speakers yeah being put on the spot like that no big deal no, yes, no, I don't big, think deal. It's a big deal. But yes, still some anxiety. All right, hold on. So this is where you and I come from different angles on this, obviously, um, because if you are a professional speaker and you have your your stuff down, then you can be asked at any time to to step up to the mic. I think what happens is most people aren't professional speakers and they get freaked out by the the opportunity to to hey can we have you say something i mean you're the next best in line and they get freaked all right well we're going to give some tips on if you get called up and you know and you don't have anything except for seconds to prepare okay. here are some techniques that you can try number one is the callback technique what is that um it anchors your words or concepts to things that have already occurred during the event so the idea is to tie your talk to something that everybody else can relate to in the room. Oh, sure. And so even, you know, somebody didn't show up or even making a kind of a joke about that you're the filling guy and you're like plan B or like you're their sixth choice. Right, right. You're the only one who showed up. And um, But making a joke about something um, creates a closer bond between you and the audience. It also helps to set, help set them up to receive your words a little more favorably. I see that you do this uh, when you write. Uh, when, when you write, you put out your premise and then you throw a callback to it on occasion throughout your writing. And so, too, you could do that uh, in, in public speaking. I see that. All right. All right. The second one is to put the punchline first, they say. <laughs> well, if the punchline comes first, then there goes the laughter. Oh, so Eric's already belly laughing. Trying. Belly laughing. Belly laughing. Um, also, let your audience know up front what you plan to accomplish in your speech. They say it's a good idea to prep your audience with a preview, but it also gives you a little more think time. So while you're laying out your main points out loud yes. to the audience, you're mentally sorting out the details and the specifics that you'll be able to flesh out in your speech. If so you, it wasn't so much a joke, just the just telling sure, them what to expect. Sure, here, here it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, what is it? You, you start with the ending in mind? Yeah, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you, then I tell you, and then I tell you what I told you. There you go. Uh, here's something that is uh, important to do. If you are able, draw out your audience members by name. Refer to them by name. You know, I actually read a newsletter this morning from our friend Coach Brew that talked about um, a particular musical group that he actually bra fan bragged about him called yep. Low Cash, and how they, as an as a band and their inner, they consider themselves more entertainers than musicians. But they pay attention to the audience and they find the person that just does not seem to be plugged in and engaged, and they call him out and they engage him and and in, you know kind of use him in the audience before long he's like clapping and stomping away and he's like their their biggest fan i don't know about you but i've always found there's always this person in the audience that seems to be grumpus wumpus right yes the most detached they've got their arms folded they're sitting back in their seat the heckler got, no no i'm talking about the grumpus wumpus oh not the heckler that's a different person they seem to be one of the same for me 
Okay, so Eric gets hecklers, I get grumpus wumpus. And the grumpus is the person that just does not seem at all engaged. Like they would rather be someplace else. There's no emotion on their face. They're not interested at all. And yet that's the person that after the talk always comes up and got the most out of it. It shocks the heck out of me because I think I'm not relating to this person person at all. And they're the ones that come in. But so refer to your audience members by name. Of course, in a big, tall crowd, low cash refers to this person as the boss. Oh. Yeah. Because they don't know their name, the person's name. It's in a big crowd. But you're the boss. You're the boss. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Um, she, um, is also a great way. You know, if you don't have any time to prepare. So, you know, I didn't have, yes, I have a talk that, yes, we can always go and do. And I've got some bullet points I can always pull back on. But depending on the timing of it, how much time you had to prepare for it, ants that has an race is always a great way to grab people in. Stories are sticky. They are sticky and, and they're retold. And of course, you know, easier to tell a story than to have to remember facts and figures, right? And all that data and, you know, percentages and all of that. So they say, if you can spin a yarn that paints pictures in the minds of your audience, then they become more active participants. Absolutely. And then finally, uh, be brief. No one ever said, oh my gosh, that was too short, right? <laughs> they always say, oh my gosh, he or she never shut up. You know, and, and we, we've seen that, right? And you've all been on the in the audience for somebody who actually has a great speech. And here's, I think, probably my best tip for public speaking would be learn how to close. Because sure. I've watched people who actually have kind of finished, but then they just kind of ramble on because right. I'm really not sure how to finish. I'm not ready to be done or they didn't time it right or they're worried about finishing. Too, so I don't know what's going on in their head, but you can tell they, they, they're they dumb. They're just rambling at this point. Mm -hmm. And so get your story out and no, be brief and, and turn it back over to, to the MC or the host of the event and everybody will be thrilled that you you were concise and they'll be tickled because you did it obviously with a few seconds to spare i love that be ready that's a good thing uh thanks to the open forum at americanexpress.com for that all right folks we're gonna have to uh, take a quick top of the hour station id get the news and all the other things that go along with that but please don't go anywhere we have a whole nother hour of positive business talk right ahead you're listening to angel and eric and this is